Hello, my friends. Welcome to a new video. Not that long ago, I made a video about immersion and how to improve immersion by using haptics. Today, I will talk about a very nifty tool that I found, um, which will allow you to actually uh, control the field of view with your head movements. How does it work? Well, you have the webcam, which needs to be calibrated, and then it will look at your face and it will map out your face um, and, and, and your eyes. And what it does then is from the moment that you move your head to the left or to the right, that it will track this, it will see this, and it will move your screen towards the left or the right in the direction that you are uh, uh, that you are looking. So that's really handy. If you only have one screen like myself, you don't have VR, well, this is the poor man's VR or the, the single triple screen uh, setup. So what do you need to make this work? Well, there are two programs which are free, AI Track and OpenTrack that you need to download. I will leave a link in the description here. Um, you also will need a webcam and of course a PC to run the software on. So it's not for console, it's only for PC at this moment, um, but that is what you need to make it work. So these are the two programs that you need to install. You have AI Track and OpenTrack, just download them, extract them and you run them. This will be what you were greeted with um, when you open it. Then the configuration is very simple. We are going to start with the AI track. The camera should be the camera that you are using. I have two cameras, so uh, I know it's camera zero, which is on top of the screen. You have to adapt the FPS to 60. Uh, remote open track client is also very important that you put the address of your PC in there, which is disconnected to um, IP uh, of the local computer is always 127.0.0.1. You can put your fixed IP address in it, but this is just handy because if your IP address should change, well, uh, if it is set on this, it will change with it. Port on 42.42, also very important. Uh, distance in meters 0 0.7, and uh, well, it is the distance between the camera and uh, yourself, of course. Field of view you can adapt to if you want and that is about everything that you need to set in this thing once you are done with the settings just calibrate a face calibrate there you go calibration ended face scale saved and you are ready to go now it is possible that when you press on calibrate face that the program just exits like that no error message nothing and that would mean that you have the camera setting wrong here, that it is on another camera than it is supposed to be. Um, yeah, so to fix this, just uh, yeah, choose the correct camera and then you should be able to calibrate your face without any issue. Once you're done, apply. And done. Now, back to open track so open track there is also not a lot to configure only thing that you need to do is put it here the udp over network as uh, option and that is about it i think um when it comes to the options yeah you will need to check this out uh, something that i needed to change was for example the uh invert of the camera movement so if i move my head up well it went down standard so I needed to invert it in pitch that when I look up, that it also uh, tilts the screen upwards. The same for the Z axis. That's when you come closer to, uh, to the camera that you want to zoom in. And if you sit back, that it zooms out. So that are the two things that I put here as, uh, as configuration. And that is about it. So this is good. Okay. And um, mapping also so here you can choose the, the the degrees of yeah of your your field how much you can maximum turn i put it on 90 to test um and well it seems to be it seems to be quite all right like this um normally it is set standard on 180 it's preference like almost everything the scales you can also adapt so if you want for example that you reach the 90 degrees if you don't, I, you can put it much faster that it reaches the value um, 
by uh, sliding over these uh, these things so you can add extra dots here. Now, of course, this is about the same, but let's put it like that. And then normally it should go faster uh, to turn. Just play a bit with this. Once you're done with the playing, uh, just start tracking here. We are good. Okay. We start tracking here. And then we go to our video game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.